Welcome to day 20 of our 21 day coaching call series. And today's mantra is co-creating sacred partnerships. So if you have leaned into all of the things that we're talking about, you're actually creating an aura that is going to attract people that are interested in co-creating. And if you put it out there, whatever it is that you might be interested in co-creating, you're going to find people that are your people that are energized, positive, creative, intelligent, educated, informed, wise, all of the things that you've developed in yourself, you're now attracting for other people. Like whatever it is that you want to see in your sacred beloved, if you become it, you attract it. Okay, so that's what we spent 20 days doing. And now on the 20th day, we have to stand in our power and say what it is that we're interested in co-creating and start having our radar up for those sacred partners that are going to come in and help us do it. So, you know, when I think about all the sacred partners that I have in my life and all of the things that I'm co-creating, you know, I think of, okay, great. If I ever have an issue with my website, I have somebody who's been my webmaster for 25 years. That's a sacred partnership. That's somebody I really believe in and care a lot about. Um, if I think about the earth gratitude, and this happened. So I can tell you something that actually happened that was beyond my wildest dreams. Um, you know, one of my friends gave me a Sia song for the earth gratitude project. So she she approved of us using it. But here's the problem is that we now need to make it appropriate for earth gratitude. So we need some visuals. I reached out to somebody who'd created a mini film for us. And of course, this person, Alvin Tam, was excited about creating something that Sia was going to see. So here we have these two sacred partnerships that just came into being, right? Because we had created the space for it. Um, same thing even with the Earth Gratitude Project. When I, I was talking about it with my partners and we were first launching it, I said, I think I can potentially get, at that time he was the Prince of Wales, now he's the King of England, but potentially get a contribution from him by year five of the project, maybe the Dalai Lama by year six. And it turned out that the Prince of Wales, now the King of England came in on the first year and the Dalai Lama came in on the second year. And then Sia and, you know, these films that we're creating. And now, you know, my goal is to try to get to Paris and Amsterdam. Would you like to be our executive producer? Are you feeling the call to be our co-creator? <laughs> Have a sacred partnership with the Youth Gratitude Project. So you see what I'm saying, though, is that as you become somebody known for optimism, wisdom, um, creating great things that are meaningful and important for humanity, you're going to start attracting other people that want to do that with you. And so I want you to start looking back now over your journal. I mean, today, obviously, top of mind, co-creating sacred partnerships. And the, and the thing there is going to be, and this is a great thing to meditate on too, and to fall asleep on, like have this be the last thing you think about before you fall asleep. What would I like to co-create? What would be really amazing? What do I think would really benefit my humanity? What kind of thing am I passionate about? What can I put my heart into? What do I think would create more beauty in the world? You know, we've seen, um, watch The Biggest Little Farm. This was an incredible journey that this couple took because they loved their dog enough not to want to have him living in an apartment. And he hated the apartment, was always whining and yelling when they were gone. You know, there's a lot of inspiring projects out there of people that completely transformed their lives because they were interested in co-creating and they had a sacred partnership. Now that couple that did the biggest little farm, they had to find investors and all of that sort of thing. Um, and their sacred partnership included their dog that they had this commitment to. Again, you'll it'll make more sense if you watch the the documentary. So um, also watch Kiss the Ground and Common Ground as well for other sacred partnerships that you'll see there. They have a lot of celebrities that come in and participate in their films because regenerative agriculture is so important. Um, 
you know, I was able to tour um, high growth with the home farm manager and learn organic farming from him, which they'd been doing there since the late seventies. It's incredible what happens when you decide that you're gonna create something and that you open yourself out to the wisdom and the resources and the possibilities that will that project will attract. So have faith from week one that all of the work that you've done until now, including all of the visioning and the imagination work that you've done until now, that if you truly know what projects you're interested in going forward, including even maybe a shift of career, again, it doesn't have to be instantaneous. You don't have to quit and, and do without and then struggle, struggle, struggle. You could actually, it, it happens with me um, almost always is that I think that my career is this and I start this other thing as a passion project and then pretty soon there's my career over there. So it could be that um, a friend of mine calls it the nine to five job and the five to nine job. So the nine to five job is whatever it is you're doing to earn your money, right? The five um, to nine job is your passion project. And if you're really passionate about it and you put your heart into it, chances are that becomes your nine to five job, which then puts you in that category of what the Buddha would say, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Okay, so top of mind is going to be that co I'm co-creating now. I'm in co-creating mode. I'm in thinking bigger mode. I'm in partnership mode and sacred partnership mode. And what is it I'm truly interested in? What is it that I'm gonna start building the blocks for that next chapter of my life, which may actually come, you know, may take 10 years to get there. It may take five years to get there, but it'll last, you know, 15 years or longer, or it may last forever. It may last centuries. A lot of the investments that were made centuries ago, um, you know, by certain families in Europe are still in the same family. Why can't that be the case for you? All right, I'll see you tomorrow for our day 21.